Hi there. Today I'm going to tie a fairly large fly. This is going to be a, this is going to be a fly that's meant for pike, muskie, and uh, and billfish. Um, it's going to be tied on a tube, so you can decide exactly what the kind of hook setup you want to do. And uh, we're going to end this with one of these uh, fairly large uh, popper heads from uh, from Rainy. Uh, uh, a nice <laughs> nice addition to any fly. Uh, and and the nice thing about this is, if you don't want the popper head, you can simply just uh, leave it off uh, or attach something else uh, you want to do there. So so this is uh, this is a fly that's going to have the option of becoming a popper or not. So. First of all, we're going to take a bundle of uh, a bundle of bucktail, and this time bucktail in uh, in white, uh, nice uh, color for <laughs> almost any pattern. Um, we're going to keep this uh, fairly long, and uh, and we're going to distribute this almost evenly around the the tube here, or in, as evenly as I can, like this. Going to tie this down. Oh, I, sorry. <laughs> Uh, old Hubbard, I just tied some bait fish. We're of course gonna tie this uh, the other way around, so this is gonna be pointing forward. All the bucktail is gonna be pointing forward because then we're gonna turn it uh, and uh, and it will give a better effect uh, by maintaining the, uh, the the rest of the materials in in uh, in the place where we want it to be, like so. You can see this is going to be kind of like a corona effect now, like that. I'm going to take all of this, turn it backwards, like so. Use my tying thread to get up to it, but not exactly on top of it. Just going to use an old trick, as you can see here. I'm taking my bobbin out of the thread because it's squeaky, and then right here you have some <laughs> glands that will pro provide some. Well, if you are a human, at least, will provide some uh, some grease to your uh, to your bobbin and make it uh, uh, unsqueaky again and uh, and move more smoothly. So if you didn't know that trick, um, uh, well, now you do. And as you can see, I have this uh, very big corona effect now. What we're going to do then is we're going to take some big fly fiber because this uh, uh, this fly is going to be fairly big. Um, uh, the green color is is nice for pike and musky, but it also it also have a lot of appeal to uh, to, uh, to to fish like um, to fish like dorado and uh, and uh, and sailfish um, marlin as well. Uh, gonna stretch this out, uh, so it's going to be surrounding the tube once again like this, tying it backwards. Making sure everything is secured nice and strongly, like this. And as you can see now, uh, the, the bucktail will uh, will help this material keeping its bulk and its volume. Cut off that, like so. So. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, some holographic flash abu in uh, chartreuse, a nice color. And as you can see, this flash material is unbelievably long. So I'm gonna take a fairly large bundle of this. Just gonna make sure that the ends here are not completely uniform. So they will not cling together. Sometimes when you open one of these packages of uh, of uh, flashable, what you will find is that it clings a bit together, kind of like it's wet or or it's greasy or something like that. It's simply because it's it's a bit damp, it's a bit moist. As soon as your materials have been uh, well laying uh, open for for a short while, or or uh, the fly has been in your box for a while, the material will stop clinging together and uh, and be well. Uh, very, very much more. Um, how would I say that? Well, unclingy, or whatever you want. However, you want to express that. Uh, I'm gonna tie this down so I have about three thirds. Oh, here it's it's two, two thirds. I was three thirds doesn't make sense. I was gonna say three fifths, but here's gonna be two thirds uh, of the material backwards, making this a fairly long fly. As you can see here, and then one third uh, up uh, in front. Gonna take this and uh, and turn this over as well. 
this makes up uh, uh, this uh, completes the the wing and uh, not completes the wing but makes the wing uh, become uh, into two uh, two different tapering so two, two different two different layers so i have the uh, the, the furthest back here is, is going to be the uh, it's going to be the, the the slimmest one the one with the least material and then it's going to gradually gradually thickens up towards the head which is uh, exactly the way most fish are designed so the the tapering shape is, is going to be on this fly here like so as you can see we have a fairly large fly now with a lot of material uh, looks very very nice in the water um, and uh, and so far it's been uh, it's been fairly easy for us to do so what i want to do now is i want to add a bleeding effect so i'm going to take some holographic red uh, Magnum flash here, not as much as I did before with the with the green one, not nearly as much. I'm just gonna take some of these, fold these out, distribute these all the way along here, tie this down. So the red fibers, the red flesh of blue fibers, is gonna be mixed up with the with the green ones, like so. Yeah, I'm tying everything down, folding everything backwards, like that. <laughs> And we're gonna take some. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna. I think that's enough flesh there. So then we're gonna take some white saddle feathers here. Take some fairly large, uh, fairly big white saddle feathers here. Again, to add some contrast. Also to add some uh, some some life and stuff to the fly. So I'm going to tie these down all the way around the hook, the 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 tube. Again, like that. Looks fairly good. And as you can see, I'm tying these down with the with the blank side, the 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 shiny part of the feather. So uh, that is, is 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 pointing downwards. And this is simply to uh, to ensure that, that these feathers will will uh, be as bulky as possible. Make sure the fly has as much bulk as possible, like that. Then I'm gonna take some chartreuse green saddle feathers here. And to, uh, to make sure this has a lot of contrast. And these are fairly long, so these are even longer than the white ones. Like this. Some of these feathers are thirty five centimeters plus, 
which makes them very good for for flies like this. Large, big, bulky flies. Using some thread to make sure everything is fastened. And between the flesh, the feathers, the big fly fiber, and uh, and and all this, uh, you will have a fly here that is gonna be mayhem in the water. It's gonna be a very very mad mover, um, and uh, <laughs> well, any big predatory fish will, will will attack this. I think. As you can see, the the white the white feathers is uh, is a nice contrast to uh, to the rest of the fly here. Like so. You could have used chartreuse or, or green uh, green uh, hackles for that part as well, but I like the white, uh, the white and the red uh, contrast. Like that. And then to finish off this fly, I'm gonna take a marabou hackle. Marabou uh, hackles are nice for for big flies. Uh, they they give uh, they give bulk they give life they give volume and also they are very good at, at uh, if you have uh, a big part that you want to cover up kind of like I have here you see a lot of a lot of head where I've tied down my my materials uh, these uh, these marabou hackles can can work wonders uh, uh, covering those up as well so I'm simply just gonna turn this very very chartreuse marabou feather here. Turn it one last time, I think. this as cleanly off as I can take my tiny thread and make a whip finish and now you can do whatever you like you can add a, a fish skull you can add a soft head from sports fisher you can add a upper head what I want to do is I want to add one of these bad boys, um, a fairly large popper head from uh, from Rainy. Big eye popping head, they're called. They're very nice. Uh, just gonna add this. Of course, make sure to add some varnish here, some some super glue, or something, whatever, something like that. I'm gonna push all of this together here. And there you have it. A fairly large, uh, fairly wonderful, uh, big pike, musky, uh, saltwater fly here, uh, and then cut off the tube, and uh, well, you're done. Uh, those were the words. Thank you for tuning in.